What are your fears? What are you scared of? Because we all have fears. We all have something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. And as we begin to look at life, what we realize is that the reason that most people are not living out their true potential, not doing all of the things that they would really like to do, is because of fear. Some people call fear false evidence or expectations appearing real. Most people go through life running scared. Running scared from things that have no teeth in them. Because they're false expectations appearing real. Let's see, we're brilliant enough to scare ourselves to death. You realize that? And there are some people actually who get a kick out of scaring themselves to death. I remember the last frightening movie I saw. It was The Exorcist. I will never forget. Every second counts. So make every second. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. The reason I want to help you is I am you. Let me tell you what everybody's dream is. Put it in your note. I don't care if you sell pest control, security, solar, insurance. I don't care what it is. You want to be happier. You got to link everything to people's happiness. You say, that's incredible. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to kill some termites. They're going to be happier. Let's go. I don't care what level you're at. I'm talking to me as much as I'm talking to you. All kinds of things I ain't doing like I need to be doing. You can change the chapter in the book of your life if you want to. There's a book being written about you, even if you don't have faith, would you agree someone's probably paying attention? You can decide, you and God, or you, and whatever you believe, you're the author. You can turn the page. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. You don't, you don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie. Or you're too old or you're too young. Of course, you're too old or too young. Lie. Recognize. Recognize the excuses are not valid. They aren't. They're trumped up. They're conjured up, they're fabricated, they're lies. I'm no longer that guy. I'm gonna walk different, talk different, think different. It might be a year, two, three before you make your putt. It might be year, two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that, you're the lead character in the story of your life. But too many of you let the, what I call the extras of life dictate where you're going. You know the extras who watch a movie at the end, they got the lead characters. Then at the end, it's like cab driver number two, bouncer number three. You don't even know their damn names. But in your life, you let those people dictate what you do. You're afraid to knock the door. You're afraid to go for it because cab driver number two in your life might reject you. How about you start playing the game for the main characters? That's who you play the game for. At some point, you got to stop negotiating the price and decide your will to win is not for sale. Most people's dreams can be bought with enough failure, with enough rejection. They can't still fight. They'll take, they can get a little bit, but when it gets a little too hot, they go, boom, buy the dream. You can have it. It's not worth it to me. And their will to win is viable. You can buy it. Some of you have sold it because you're making a little bit of money. You don't work like you did when you were making nothing. You're not after it like when you were broke. Some of you will sell your win for some failure. You're probably viable. But if you decide at this meeting, my will cannot be bought. I don't care how long it takes, you can't buy this dude out. I'll keep fighting. I'm going to change my family tree forever. That's the decision. Decide now. You're going to keep negotiating the price or can you not be bought?